Since the first day that I got my Jeep Rubicon in 2015, I started making modifications. One of the first modifications that I did was on the rear cargo area. I custom made a drawer system. That's where I keep all my, my cooking gear, my camping gear. I also installed a fridge from ARB with a slider. Also from Terraflex, I got a cargo basket. So I couldn't use my rear view mirror anymore, so I just removed it and started using only my side mirrors. But now I found this from Brand Motion. It's a full view monitor mirror that's got a camera in the front and camera in the rear. And on this video, I'm gonna show you how I installed it and I'm gonna give you the part numbers that you need to do the installation yourself. Hi, I'm Marco from Overland X. On this video, I'm gonna share with you how I installed the Brand Motion Full View Mirror on my 2015 Jeep Rubicon. The Full View Rear Camera Mirror from Brand Motion for Jeep Wrangler JK 2007 to 2018, model number FVMR-8866, comes complete with a full view mirror, a mirror mount, a rear camera Jeep bracket, mirror power harness, camera chassis harness, instructions, and a bag of wire ties and push nuts. The tools and supplies needed for this installation, it's wire strippers, wire cutters, electrical tape, zip ties, plastic panel removal tools, a digital bowl meter, screwdriver, socket set, and a wrench set. The rear camera mount comes with two brackets, a short bracket, which is designed for factory offset wheels and a long bracket for wheels with larger offsets. Because my Wilco tire carry uses a wheel cone on a threaded hub to hold the spare tire instead of the regular wheel lugs, I customized the installation by using regular lug nuts and bolts to hold the camera mount on my spare wheel. The elongated mounting holes on the bracket makes adjusting and centering the camera mount very easy and the center wide opening does not get on the way of the tire carrier's mounting hub. Once you install the camera mount on your spare, you proceed to route the camera harness into the tailgate. I decided to do this through this seal plug, but you can go through the tailgate door exhauster. After removing the tailgate table, I noticed that this access hole is right above the hole that I use to feed the wire harness. This will make the process a lot easier. By drilling a hole large enough to feed the wires tightly through the rubber plug, the chance of leaking water or dust into the tailgate is slim to none. I use a piece of hard wire to fish the wire through. Make sure to also route the red wire found on the harness. You will connect it to the 12 volt wire on the reverse light, so you can use the panoramic reverse mode on the full view mirror. Once I fed the wire into the tailgate, I ran it through the existing tailgate cloth strap slash sleeve to go into the back of the Jeep. The red wire that comes outside the wire harness of the rear camera is used to power the camera when engaging reverse. I used a T-tap quick splice wire terminal to tap into the 12 volt wire that powers up the reverse light. This wire is the white and gray. The rest of the wire harness has to go to the front of the Jeep, all the way to the dashboard. On the passenger side, run the wire under the carpet, remove the plastic kick panel on the passenger side door and feed the wire. You can secure the wire by using zip ties. Remove the dashboard's side panel on the passenger side and accommodate the power harness connection box. I use a couple of inline fuse holders to power the mirror from an existing 12 volt supply wire. Remove the A-pillar panel, the sun visor, the windshield trim molding and replace the OEM rear view mirror with the HD 9.66 inch full screen display camera mirror. Run the power cable up to the rear view mirror. Connect the wires using the quick connector 
and reinstall the plastic trim, hiding the wires behind it. Now that the mirror is installed and all the connections in place, let's give it a try. The full view rear camera mirror menu has several programming features, time and date setup, SD card format, voltage protection level, LCD power save, park monitoring, reverse camera mode, volume of touchscreen control, flicker control, and on the main screen it offers front, rear, or split screen view, photo and video on front camera, microphone controls, playback, and an on and off switch. Once you go in reverse, your mirror comes on. You got parking lines, like your regular rear view monitors on, on vehicles. Once you come back, the mirror is off, but you can you can turn it on by, by touching the screen like that. You can swipe and get the front view and the rear view, get only the front view, go up and down. Same with the reverse, go up and down, like a small swipe like that. It's got several things. It's got an SD card that is included in the kit so you can record the front view. You can take pictures of the front of the, uh, the front camera and uh, you can play whatever you record it. Let's see. There you go. You can record whatever is in the front camera. So I think that's a great, great, great option. And the SD card is included. I'm going to delete all the files. I hope you like this video and you find it useful. I have created a link below for you to find the parts and accessories that you need to do this installation. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and thank you for watching.